Hello and welcome to the third part of this tutorial series. Today we will finish off this control and what we will create first is a state variable called selected id that stores the selected index of course and we will initialize it with zero and this variable stores the item that is currently selected and it basically stores the id of the day that is selected and yeah so then we will put this into an set stack so what you can do is you can command click this and say embed in an h stack for example and then we'll change it to c stack we will say we want an alignment leading and then we will add a rectangle below that with the following specifications we want it to be 20 wide and 2 uh, in height we want the corner radius to be 1 we want the offset to be 0 and 16 and we want the foreground color to be white and we also want to have the spring animation on this and yeah so this basically is the the white rectangle that you saw in the design that is beneath the selected item and yeah so we should see it probably now yeah so it is right here so this is because it starts at zero zero and we don't want that so we will add the padding that is usually there and we have chosen a padding of 32 so we will add 32 right here and then we can see it starts right here and obviously we want this if we say select that id is one we want this to start at this item so what we will do is we will create a variable called offset which is of type cg float and this offset returns a cg float of 32 which is the padding down there plus 78 times selected id and what this does is every of these day views is 70 wide and we have an 8 point padding in the h stack so if this is 1 we add 78 one time and we will get this one so we should see the rectangle right here now and yeah so obviously <laughs> Obviously, we have to add offset down here, otherwise it will not work. And yeah, so now we can see we have it right there. If we change this to 2, we will get it right here. And yeah, so how can we make this interactive so that we can click on these buttons? So what we have to do, we have to do is we have to create a binding variable called selected id which is of course also of type int and then down here we say day view selected id and here we have to say self dot dollar sign selected id and then what we can do down here is add dot on tab and here we say selected id is equal to day.id and yeah so now if we resume that it should be interactive obviously I have to use self right here as well and yeah so what we will see in the live preview is if I click this it already moves to the item and now we obviously have this selected boolean and here we can just say selected id is equal to day.id 
So if the day of the particular day view is the same as the selected ID, we want the select parameter to be true. And yeah, so now we can see we have a really nice animation for this. And now we just have to add some some little polish to it so that it looks a little bit nicer. And first of all, we will remove the background color from here and add it down here to the scroll view. We will add we will add a padding, a vertical padding of 10. And what we will also do is a corner radius of 14 and the shadow of 20. And we will add some padding on the horizontal sides. We make that 24. And here you can see it. So this is the final control. We can select different items and they will animate pretty smooth. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video, we will start with the table view below. And yeah, if you liked it, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like. And I would really, really be excited if you would leave a sub. Yeah, hope to see you in the next video.